Hey, Tony here. Today we're going to head to Barnes & Noble for the Criterion sale, so stick around. Okay, I'm back home from my Barnes & Noble trip. I did get a bag full of stuff. Spent a little bit over $200 on the paddles that I picked up. Um, I did record in the truck when I got done, but the video quality wasn't the best with the rain and everything. So I thought I'd just go ahead and show you what I got here. Um, I did spend $238. And 38 cents which was more than I was expecting that I would spend um, but I am happy that I have these titles I do have a couple of pre-orders ordered um, that I should be getting in but I want to go ahead and just take time to show you today the titles that I picked up today um, so first up I got 1984 this right here was a recommendation a last minute recommendation so I went ahead and got this one really wish it had some nicer packaging um, but anyways, I got that. I got Nightmare Alley, another recommendation. Unfortunately, sounds like there's a loose disc in there. I got Memories of Murder. So happy to have this one. This was one that I've been wanting to get for a while. Man Push Cart. Of course, another recommendation. I did watch the trailer for this. It looked very interesting. I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. I got Fast Time at Ridgemont High. This is um, my wife's one of my wife's favorite movies. So very happy to have this one on a Criterion release. Um, it would have been nice to have a digi book maybe of this one. Uh, you know, maybe like a yearbook style. But I do like this artwork. I got Pick Up on South Street. Not really sure about this one. Um, it was another recommendation. It is a Samuel Fuller movie. So um, I wanted to get this one added to the collection. I got Old Joy. Of course, another recommendation. Don't really know much about this one. And I got Rebecca. So Rebecca's one that I've been wanting to get for a while. Um, anything directed by Alfred Hitchcock I would love to have added to the collection. So I got this one. And then some nicer sets that were a little bit more expensive. I got the Tree of Life. I've been wanting to add this one to the collection. I've got the regular Blu-ray release, but I did want to get this packaging. So happy to have this one. I've never seen this movie yet. So um, I'm going to really have to check this one out pretty pretty soon. And then I got this title here. Don't really know that I can pronounce it correctly. Um, but I did see this movie many years ago. Um, and don't really remember much about it. But I have been wanting to add this one to the collection. So I went ahead and just bought that one. Okay, and then I got The Furies. So this is a set that I've been wanting to get since it um, was first announced. It's a nice, thick box set. Um, so very happy to have this one. I did have another title that I wanted to get. Um, I think it's called Lone Wolf and Cub. Um, they, showed that it, they showed that there was one copy in stock at the Barnes & Noble I went to. Of course, I looked everywhere. Um, I looked through every single title of the Criterion uh, in the Criterion bins. I looked on the wall, I looked on the shelves, but I could not find that copy. So I went ahead and just ordered that one from Amazon. So hopefully I'll be getting that one in tomorrow. But overall, I'm really happy with these titles. Um, there were probably some other ones that I could have picked up, but I really wanted to control a little bit more of what I was spending on this particular 
um, haul because I do have some pre-orders ordered for the items that are coming out later on during this month. So those should be coming in soon. So please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my pickups. Let me know um, if you recommend me checking any of these out first, what you would recommend. And also let me know in the comments below which titles you picked up because I really do enjoy seeing what you got and I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.